Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the Husky 42-inch 8-drawer mobile workbench. We'll describe this as the 2022 Black Friday Special Toolbox Workbench from the Home Depot. So I picked this up because I thought this was a good compromise box of something I've been looking for for a while. So in the background here, maybe you can tell I have my table saw. And I've been looking for a mobile workbench with a wooden top or something that I could modify that could be able to act as an outfeed table for my table saw and have some built-in storage. So I'm looking for something right in this 37 uh, to 37.25 inch tall uh, toolboxes. So I said a, a good compromise box earlier. And the reason why I say that is because this is a 21 gauge steel construction, not 18, not 19, not 20. So it definitely could be thicker, heavier, and have more drawer slides. And I wish it were 24 inches deep, like some of your heavier duty toolboxes tend to be. So what we get here is we get one main drawer ac across the top. I've already put some stuff in here after I brought it home, trying to get a few things here organized. So the dimension on the inside across the top here is about 37 and 5 eighths inches wide. And you'll notice the drawer does not come all the way out. So if I go from the back of the drawer to the front, or really the back of the drawer to the front, we're about 15 and a half inches deep, but we're actually losing, let me get a good dimension here on this. We're losing about an inch and a quarter in overhang right there. So I like that this has a full width drawer because some of the boxes don't have that to get a good look at everything. In my case, I'm putting a bunch of fasteners in here. This only has single drawer slides, so they're only good for 100 pounds. Again, it'd be nicer if we had double drawer slides to make this carry even more. The other criteria, if you see in the background, is my good Master Force heavy duty red toolbox with silver poles. I want something that would match because Master Force no longer makes that box there in red. And just the match, I'm a little OCD like that. So then down here we've got drawers. And so these drawers here are the same depth and the drawers on the left side measure, we'll call it 22 and 7 eighths inches wide at the top. They're just slightly deeper below that folded over piece of metal there. You can maybe say they're 22 and a quarter or 3 eighths wide going across. And so the drawer at the bottom is a little deeper. That one checks in at, call it six inches deep. And you can see I can fit my cobalt bandsaw, angle grinder, caulk gun, XTR impact wrench there with no problem. So the drawer is on the right at the very bottom. This one checks in at, we'll call it eight inches deep and does fit the cobalt 24 volt brad nailer in it just fine. You can see there, soft closed drawers. The next drawer up, coming in at just a hair under five inches deep. This does come with pre-cut drawer liners and it includes latches and keys and locks. That's the same depth, just a hair under five inches. And now if we look at the end, you can see there is a power strip here that has one, two, three, four, five, six outlets and two USB ports and a cord. When this came originally, this cord was on the other side of the grommet tucked into that top drawer right there. Not hard to thread it through. It's got nice swivel casters. There's only four of them. That was another criteria. I didn't want six casters. I want four to make it easy to move around the shop to be able to move in position around the table saw. So is it perfect? No, I'd love it to be heavier duty. I'd love it to be 24 inches deep. So what I'm contemplating doing, taking the surface off, making a new surface, not a big deal, but then perhaps I'll build in some shelves on the backside to be able to store something longer. Cause I'd really like to have a place to put my Porter cable dovetail jig uh, into my roaming storage, as well as making it overhang a little bit farther so you could actually clamp onto the edge. So for just a little bit, wider on all the edges, except for the leading edge on the front, because those drawer slides are not completely full extension, especially for that top drawer. But you could definitely overhang the sides a little bit more to be able to have more area to clamp to. Now, in all fairness, for $375, uh, 
uh, for the 2022 Black Friday price, it's hard for me to complain about this too much because, well, it is only $375. And I'm pretty sure if I was to try to make one of these myself, I would spend somewhere around 375 bucks between materials, casters, time, labor, and everything else on trying to do it. You'll notice right here, we've got just a regular standard key lock. This does not, act, if you lock it, uh, you can't actually retract the drawer and have it lock in. So, which could be good for some folks if you need to leave a single drawer or a couple drawers unlocked for a specific person, but leave everything else locked up, you can do that, no problem. Just make sure you retain the key. So with this, you also get an owner's manual, which is good for uh, setting the side, I guess. Card that came with it indicates total capacity 1,500 pounds. If you can see that with the lighting. And 100 pound drawer capacity, and that's going to be for all the drawers, unfortunately. It'd be nice if a couple of the deeper drawers had double slides as well as across the bottom. Three year limited warranty on this box. So I think it'll serve my purpose as well. It's not perfect. Like I said before, I look at this as a compromise box. It's red, it's the right height. It's got four wheels, not six, and I think I can modify the back to make it work. All right, so here we are with all the drawers fully extended, and you can see that there's just a single set of drawer slides in all of them. They are riveted into place. I think there would easily be room to add another drawer slide here. I'm not sure how difficult that would be to rivet those into place. It would be nice if like some of the craftsmen wanted to have the little slots, you could just drop them in. Um, but Maybe there's a room for some more modifications there on adding additional drawer slides to strengthen it up. But I obviously am not gonna be able to go back and make the metal stronger, which is, might be its weak length. So this is very similar to the cabinets that you see from Cobalt out there. Those come in blue and some other colors. Husky has red. I want it red to match my Master Force boxes. And so that's where I went today. So I'm curious if you've got anything like this, questions or comments, or any other good experiences, good or bad, that you want to share, love to hear about down in the comments down below, right about there. If you like today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Let me know if you're picking up this box or something else this holiday season. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye.